It's the Yeti and Pirate Show! The Yeti and Pirate Show. Hi friends, Neighborhood Yeti here, and today we're going to be reading about some sheep from our book, Indescribable by Louis Giglio. So, this one is called Follow the Leader, and our verse for today is John chapter 10, verse 14. It says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Now, did you know that people are like sheep? That's what the Bible says. Well, sort of. The Bible often says that we're like sheep and Jesus is the good shepherd. Now, if Jesus is like the good shepherd, what does a shepherd exactly mean? A shepherd is someone that takes care of and guides a flock of sheep. So, as it turns out, sheep really need a shepherd, just as we really need our shepherd, AKA Jesus. So why do sheep need a shepherd? Let's take a look at some facts. These fuzzy fellows are super, super silly. They're not super smart. And so first of all, there's lots and lots and lots of sheep in the world, just like there's lots of Yeti heads popping off my head. So there's lots and lots of sheep in the world, more than one billion. That's like more than five. So a group of sheep is called a herd, a flock, or a mob. And sheep frighten super easily, kind of like us sometimes. So they like to stick together. And this helps them feel secure and protects them from predators like wolves. Arr! Sheep also like to follow the crowd, even if it isn't a good idea. Like some sheep will just follow the crowd off the cliff. Crazy! They need to use their noggin more. So they've been known to follow sheep right off a cliff. So sheep need a shepherd to keep them going in the right direction, just like we need Jesus to help us. So how are we like sheep? Well, don't we like to stick with the crowd? Don't we often do what everyone else is doing, even if it's not a good idea? I know Yeti sometimes does that. That's why we need the good shepherd, Jesus, to keep us heading in the right direction. So lastly, Another interesting fact about sheep is that sheep can recognize faces, up to 50 different ones. And so that means sheep know their shepherd because they spend time with him and trust him and take care of them. So in that way, we should be like sheep. We should be spending so much time with Jesus, praying to him, worshiping him, talking about him, talking to him, that he knows every one of our needs and that he is always there for us. Capish? That's where you say kaposh. Kapish? I should hear some kaposhes from the other side of the screen. Kapish? Kaposh. All right. Now, it's time for Pirate Dave to do some drawing. I think Pirate Dave is going to draw something pretty cool. Did someone say Pirate Dave? All right, Scallywags, Pirate Dave here. And today we're gonna be drawing something fuzzy and cool. Depending on what you add to it, it could be even cooler. What's that? A sheep. We're drawing a sheep today. Why are we drawing a sheep today? Because sheep follow their shepherd and God calls us his sheep to follow him so that we don't go running off of cliffs like those sheep. And hopefully their shepherd keeps them from running off the cliffs. So what do you need today? You need a piece of paper and a pen and a paintbrush if you're a true scallywag. So I think that we could do this. What do you think? Are we ready, Yeti? Yep. All right, let's go. All right, friends, today we're drawing a sheep. So sheep have pretty fluffy bodies like a cloud. So let's draw a little cloud. We're going to start off by going whoop. and it connects cloud. Then we're gonna add its little face. Do a U like this, U, and then do little ears go whoop, whoop, and connect them at the top. That's his face. I'ma make my sheep happy, happy sheep. Now sheep need legs. So we're gonna go whoop, whoop, and a little, little feet. Feet. And then a sheep needs a tail. Well, boop, that's his tail. My sheep is 
really fluffy and I love him. I'm gonna make his face happier. Now he's a very happy sheep. And now I want all of you guys to do something similar at home, which is add your own flair. And my flair is going to be, I'm gonna put him in the little field. Little field, that's grass. Little field. And then give him some little clouds at the top and the sun. Boop, 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 boop. My son's happy too. That's the sun. And maybe we give him a little, you guessed it, pirate hat. But only on its head. There we go. Now, I want you guys to, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> pirate Dave getting into trouble. I want all of you guys to color in your pictures at home too. So, we're gonna do something fun. Let's get some blue for the sky. We don't always need to use crayons. We can do other fun forms of coloring too. And then maybe some green, because the best grass sheep like to eat is green. Green. And then the sun, sun is pretty yellow, right friends? And then let's give our sheep a little bit of dimension. I wanna just give him some shading. And sheepies are kinda gray. Well, at least my sheep's gray. I don't know what color your sheep's gonna be. So you gotta let me know and send in your drawings to the Yeti, let the Yeti know, not me. I don't look through things until the Yeti shows me the things. So, that looks like a pretty good sheep. What do you guys say, friends? And remember, Jesus loves you. You. Bye, friends. It's the Yeti and Pirate Show! The Yeti and Pirate Show.